But honestly, our, our last night, watching a game, mate, I'm watching, I'm thinking like, you know when you watch it as a fan and you're like, oh, we're doing well, but you know what? We're not scoring. And you know what? They'll go down the other end and nick one. Haaland will probably get the winner. But the whole game, apart from that quick two chances from Haaland, Aston Villa was so dominant. I've never seen more probably one-sided game at Villa Park since before I started playing. Well, there was more than one game last night, but I'll, give you, a, I'll give you a few moments. But So let's. So Liam Bailey's goal, deflected goal, wow. gave Villa a fully deserved victory over City. Uh, as the Champions' poor run continued, I bet you tell you of the hump, Pep, because he had that six-minute rant, didn't he? Yeah. In front of the press, and he, I'm sure he was expecting, come on, let's show these doubters we are still the best in the world. So that was a setback yep. for City. City have now gone four Premier League games without a win for the first time in more than seven years. Six points behind league leaders Arsenal. Pep was asked after the game if he's concerned about his sides form. Well, always we find a way to win games. So now we we are three, yeah, three draws, and one one defeat. So that is not it happened. But first season always we struggle in terms of results, not the play. And so far we we were we were good, but uh, today we were not able to impose our game to create chances and and the team yeah opening was. Good. So listen, um, you know, yep. it, there's still a long way to go. We know of that course. it was a brilliant result, right? And we'll come to Old Trafford in a moment yes. as well because that was that was just what. Manchester United yeah. needed God. Ten Hag needed that and got it. Yes. Um, so where do Villa have to pick up on the travels? Is that the problem? Yeah, they've got to do better away from home. You know, they really want to get in the top four. You know, going to Bournemouth and you know getting a um, last minute equaliser to get a draw. They need to do better away from home. But Al, they've won fourteen games in a row at home. Like Unai Emery has turned Villa Park into a fortress. Mm. I've got a stat here for you, Al. Pep Guardiola has managed 535 league games in Europeans in Europe's big five divisions. Yesterday was the most shots he side of faced the first half of any of those matches, 13. Yeah. The joint most shots he side has faced in any of those matches over 90 minutes, 22 shots for Aston Villa. And the joint fewest shots he side have attempted in any of those 535 matches, two shots. That shows you how right. good Aston Villa were. Have Villa got the have they got the strength and depth squad wise? They've got the strength in depth, hundred percent, because Liga, um, Brendia, top player, out for a long time. Jacob Ramsey just come back. Tyro Mings out for the season. Um, don't think it's ACL. But yesterday, Alan, we're under, we, we, players are getting tired. The RB comes on. Jacob Ramsey comes on. You got Zaniola on the bench. Duran comes on. So I think Aston Villa fans won't get carried away. Leon mm. Bailey after the game spoke very well. They will stay humble and. When you have that sort of home form, Alan, get a few wins away from home, improve your away form, why can't they get top four? Well, they're not, by they're the not way, being silly and thinking anything higher. Top four, big game can of the, they? Big game at the weekend coming up. It's a up. massive Arsenal game. Arsenal go there. And massive by the game. way, Arteta will be thinking, if we go there and beat Villa, yep. do you know what I mean? So it's, yeah, you know, Villa, Emery will be saying, right, we've, we've sorted the best team in the world yes. out. We can beat Arsenal. But also Arsenal will be thinking... We're well ahead of City now. If we can nick exactly. a win here. And you know what's big about the game as well? Game. Unai Emery didn't go well from Arsenal. He's going to have the, um, the beanie's bonnet to say, you know what, I want to beat Arsenal. And if Villa play like they did yesterday, Alan, it's going to be one hell of a game. I don't like saying that Villa will win. I always say draw. But the way they played yesterday, the energy of Villa Park, mm. had friends and family at the stadium, it was frightening. Okay, 03 717 Never seen them like this before. Ooh. We're taking your calls this morning. Are Villa actually title contenders now? Are they set for the top four? We're taking your calls. Gabby. Oh, another Gab. Gabby's a Sheffield Wednesday fan. He wants to speak our, to our <laughs> Gab father. Good morning, Gabby. Well, Good morning, Gab Gabby. To, Gab father to Gab father. <laughs> I'm a bit worried you're doing the Gabby's a disservice at the moment. Hey, Gabby, come on. I, I, I want to know what you're drinking because there must be different water in the Midlands, mate, because I've got a guy up there, a security guy, Villa fan, and he seems to think they're going to be topped by Christmas. And I'm like, what are you drinking? Because I want some of it. As a Chef Wednesday fan, we need some of it. They're you need more than drink. Tougher. You need you, The way you're playing this season, you'll be relegated by Christmas. <laughs> Listen, it seems like you're back there the way we're playing at the minute, but we're uh, turning it around, Gab. You could do with me on my worst down, mate. I'll get in that team. <laughs> Listen, I, Pipe I, down. In the, I, I think in the Midlands and Suffolk, between Ipswich and Villa, they're having their best seasons in years. Yeah, do it. Do that standing, mate. How is Chef Wednesday doing? Um, I haven't looked that far uh. down. 
Yeah, it's, 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 it's hard graft at the minute, uh, Gabby, but Danny Rolls installing a uh, great, great change at the club and I think we're definitely going to start introducing youth players and yeah. and turn it round. But um, so, you know, Gabby, how come you know? How come you're a Wednesday fan? You sound as if you're from Catford. <laughs> I'm round the corner from you, Alan. I I, I come past the Checkers and uh, the Marquis story and ah, lovely and stuff like that. So I I I keep thinking I should pop in and have a good chat with you at some point, but. Your private time is your private time, and I wouldn't want to interrupt. I don't mind. If you yeah. see me in there, come say hello, Gabby. Gabby, Gabby join us. I'm saying to fans out there, if you want to join Aston Villa, join on, join us, our European tour, what we're doing this season, change teams, support it's, it's, Aston Villa. Hold on, Villa. this is a man who's been to Villa Park twice in three years. I've been loads, my friend. Like, I've been loads. If I'm not working, I'm there. Anyway, I've got someone coming in shortly to sort you out. <laughs> you've, been too, you've been too many espresso <laughs> martinis lately. Right, someone's oh, going to yeah. someone's going to bring you right back down here. Really, who's that? Those abs that you've lost, <laughs> right? I'm, I'm, you I'm a lo- I know I'm a lost cause now, but I'm 64. You're still a young man. You're I've seen pictures it. of you at 37. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> You're the same as you was now. <laughs> right, give us a call now. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Arsenal fans, you go to Villa next. Mm. Are you worried? Or that gap you've got now? Okay, Liverpool are still hanging on. A long way to go, but. Arsenal are handily placed, and you go to Villa Park next. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.